This video explains how to convert a Unix timestamp to a date object in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the timestamp object that we can create with line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called my time is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three. And then you can see that we have created a data object that contains one numeric value. And this numeric value is considered in our example to be a timestamp. Now, as a first step, if we want to convert this timestamp to a date, we have to convert our timestamp to a POSIX CT object, as you can see in line five of the code. And within the sPO6CT function, we need to specify our time object and we need to specify the origin for our timestamp. So after running line five of the code, a new data object called myTimeNew1 is created and we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six. And then you can see that we have converted our timestamp to a date and time object, which is showing the date, the time and the time zone. If we check the class of this new data object by running line eight of the code, you can see that currently our data object has the POSIX CT class. And now we can convert this POSIX CT object to a date object using the s.date function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify our POSIX CT object. And then in this case, I'm also creating a new data object that contains the output of the sdate function, which is called myTimeNew2. So after running line 10 of the code, this new data object myTimeNew2 is created and we can print it to the console by running line 11 of the code. And now you can see that we have removed the time component from our date and time object. And if we apply the class function to this new data object, you can see that the class of our final data object is the date class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.